Migraine is an abnormal response to normal sensory input. Migraine patients respond to stimuli as trivial as light, noise, odors, stress, hormone fluctuations, and many other things resulting in a migraine attack. Headache, nausea, and many other symptoms force patients to spend hours or days in quiet or darkness. There is and always has been a whole variety of interesting theories to explain migraine. We still don't quite know how migraine works. In contrast to a neurological pharmacological practice with its exclusive focus on cerebral causes, surgical migraine treatment has so far centered on extracranial nerves, blood vessels and muscles. Surgical migraine therapy begins with relieving pressure on irritated nerves. These include the trigeminal and greater occipital nerve branches. These nerves are the main pathways for afferent sensory signals to the brain. As such, they play a crucial role in triggering migraine. Migraine treatment constitutes a new, groundbreaking and promising application of plastic surgery. The year 2000 saw the first of many publications published in this area in the US. Next, we will be presenting a selection of these publications. The single most important publication so far has been a sham surgery study from Cleveland. 28 of the 49 patients actually operated on showed a complete remission. 41 of these 49 patients showed an improvement of more than 50%. Only one of the 26 sham operator patients showed a complete remission. A European group of plastic surgeons and neurologists reported their results on 60 patients operated on for migraine. They found that age and severity of migraine negatively correlated to post-operative improvement. This follow-up study analysed long-term post-operative results in 96 patients over a period of four years. The study revealed significant and valid results consistent with the results previously reached in the Botox test. Allodynia, a migraine symptom, has been identified as a prognostic indicator. This five-year study also demonstrated the lasting effectiveness of surgical pressure relief. 88% of the 69 patients showed major sustained improvement in migraine symptoms. The study examined the cost-effectiveness of surgical migraine treatment. Comparing drug-based and surgical treatment, the results showed a reduction in sick days by 89%, painkiller consumption by 76%, and a cost reduction of 95% by annual comparison. Full versions of the studies are available for download from our website.